uh, welcome to this module. Uh, in this module, what we will look at, we will look at how 3D printing works. Now, uh, what exactly 3D printing is and uh, what do you mean by uh, additive manufacturing and subtractive manufacturing? Uh, how 3D printing can be used uh, uh, to uh, as, a, as a casing uh, for the electronic systems uh, so as to see uh, a working prototype uh, for understanding the uh, cancer. Uh, because our still focus is on uh, understanding uh, or diagnosing cancer using electronic systems, but when we design a fabric or fabricate a chip, uh, we have to enclose that chip inside a casing and thus 3D printing can be an extremely important uh, uh, tool to learn. So, uh, if you see here the, the today's focus is on application of 3D printing technology in sensor fabrication. So, if you uh, start with an introduction the uh, 3D printing is defined or uh, also known as additive manufacturing process, a process of making 3 dimensional solid objects from a digital file. Uh, so, what exactly additive, manuf additive manufacturing means right. So, if you see here in this par two particular case shown in the schematic the addi additive manufacturing subtractive manufacturing shown here. In subtractive manufacturing if you take a block if you take a block and you uh, remove a part of block uh, by physical or chemical processing either it can be milling, it can be turning, it can be grinding, it can be water jet cutting, it can be sawing right. So, in any way when you are cutting uh, the things from block it is subtracting that material. So, subtractive manufacturing if you are adding a material to a block for example, right over here right adding uh, manufacturing uh, additive manufacturing adds layers of material and that layer uh, is deposited uh, using the wire extrusion power bed uh, deposition technique right uh, which we will also see as a 3D manufacturing uh, process. So, when you add the material additive manufacturing when you remove the material subtractive manufacturing to in a very uh, easy way to understand. So, uh, what uh, additive processes uh, the desired object is created by laying down successive layers of material until the objective is created. So, uh, in, in this particular process where we talk about additive manufacturing the, uh, the object is created by laying down successive materials as you can see a layer by layer in horizontal way a layer by layer can be used in vertical way. Uh, so, we will see um, the advantages of those uh, some sometime later. Uh, but right now uh, each of these layers can be seen as finely sliced horizontal cross section in this particular schematic it can be seen as a finely sliced horizontal cross section right. Um, while 3D printing uh, is the opposite of subtractive manufacturing where uh, cutting uh, or hollowing out a piece of metal or plastic example milling or machining I just explained to you. Now, the 3D printing enables you, uh, you to provide or produce complex functional shapes using less material than traditional manufacturing methods that is the uh, added advantage of 3D printing over traditional manufacturing processes where the material consumption is uh, less uh, for making complex uh, uh, shapes. Hmm. So, this is uh, 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 about the 3D, manu uh, 3D uh, printing uh, introduction. Now, let us quickly see in a video how exactly 3D printing works and it is a, a actually it is an introduction to additive manufacturing. So, let me play the video and then we go to the next slide. Additive manufacturing and 3D printing are general terms encompassing a variety of systems used to create three-dimensional physical parts in models directly from digital data. These systems primarily manufacture using a layer-by-layer -layer or additive means of construction. Additive technologies are based on the solid modeling portion of computer-aided design or CAD. Additive systems use this solid modeling data to build in extremely thin cross-sectional layers. This permits manufacture of intricate and complex shapes and surfaces much more simply than by conventional methods. 
pieces can also be built from three-dimensional imaging data generated by 3D scanning or medical imaging devices. Materials used in additive manufacturing are broadly classified as either liquid, powder, filament, or sheets. Polymers are the primary type of materials used in additive manufacturing, but systems are available to build with plaster, metals, silica sand, paper, ceramics, and even biological materials. Additive systems range from large industrial machines suitable for shop floor and laboratory environments to smaller desktop printers used by consumers. These systems utilize numerous technologies, with the most popular including fat polymerization, powder bed fusion, material extrusion, and material jetting. Although additive technologies have been in use for decades, new advancements and applications are being developed every day in the fields of aerospace, industrial machines and tooling, medical implants, surgical guides, home decor, art, and so much more. Okay. So, as you have seen in the video, right, um, uh, how the additive manufacturing works, let us also understand what is the workflow of 3D printing. If you see here uh, in the slide, what you see that uh, you have, if you want to have, uh, there, there are multiple ways of, uh, uh, you know, generating a, a STL file. Uh, either you use photo scanning technique or you use CAD tool or you can use 3D scanning. Uh, when you uh, one of this uh, uh, digital model of object is there, uh, you can convert it to STL file and then you can use as a, as a slicer for the printing um, uh, you know uh, in, in uh, and then finally, uh, there is a layer printing. So, it goes from digital mode to STL file to slicing and finally, layer printing. These are the steps to that to win one is to follow and you can see details about this particular slicing process and uh, designing the 3D printed part uh, in a paper by uh, Zhu Etl uh, which is on uh, the boom in 3D printed sensor technology. So, if you read this article further, you will understand uh, uh, the workflow of 3D printing in detail. Hmm? Uh, it is always good habit to read as many articles as you can because uh, that is how you improve your knowledge and understand what is going on in the area of science and research. Okay. So, now uh, with continuing the workflow of 3D printing, uh, what exactly slicing? Slicing is from 3D model to 3D printer. Slice is a 3D model in order to make it a 3D printable version. Uh, now, the slicing in particular is divided uh, uh, or is, is a process uh, where it is or, or you can say the slicing is dividing a 3D model into hundreds or thousands of horizontal layers uh, and is done with slicing software. So, you take a so you take a block and then you keep on slicing it right as many layers as you can uh, get right and that is done by the uh, software. Also, it is possible to slice a 3D file with a 3D modeling software or in a 3D printer itself. Also, a slicing tool can be forced to use for 3D printing. Uh, 3D model is sliced and fed to 3D printer. This can be done via USB, SD card or Wi-Fi. When a file is uploaded in a 3D printer, the object is ready to be 3D printed layer by layer. This whole process, uh, how it happens is uh, in this particular text. If we go to the next slide, what we see is there are several 3D model 3D modeling software. 3D modeling software are often made to suit the functions of user industry, uh, resulting in rise of software suited to specific niches uh, or niche. 
uh, we we see that as a result there are software applications on the market uh, that cater to broad range of applications uh, for industries uh, where we can take example of aerospace industry or you can say packaging industry for electronics or transportation industry it can be a sensor pr printing technology using 3d printing um, and so on and so forth uh, while uh, when you talk about different software that are available for uh, uh, 3d modeling uh, those are listed here where the blender is the uh, vendor is ranked 1 by with a total score of 83 now how you can get this total score this is again based on the uh, social website forum youtube models google right so from social forum website forum uh, youtube models google everything in general yeah, the total score comes to 83.7 when you go down you can have different other software for example SketchUp, SolidWorks, Fusion, Inventor, Maya, AutoCAD, uh, 3ds Max, ZBrush right and Thinkercad. So, a lot of softwares you are already using the most common software we generally we use are the first three where you are using a blender or a SketchUp or SolidWorks. Now, if you uh, if you have a mechanical engineering friend you can ask those people you know, they generally rely on SolidWorks or ProE uh, to design this uh, uh, as a software. Of course, a uh, uh, lot of things you need to uh, uh, worry on is is on how to convert that particular file to a STL file. So, uh, uh, you can use uh, the existing software uh, uh, for 3D mod modeling. Uh, now, if I go further what I see is that uh, when you talk about 3D printing materials see one is to convert your design uh, using a particular software, but then what kind of material you want uh, as a 3D printing uh, on the 3D printing product. So, for that there are several materials available when you talk about uh, plastic then you can have uh, starting from uh, thermoplastic uh, to resin to ABS to PLA right uh, to PEI. ASA a plastic filament with fillings lot of materials uh, including nylon PETG right. Um, so, uh, in terms of polymer or plastic there are a lot of options when you talk about uh, metals there is a 3D printing uh, metal based 3D printer with where, where it prints the metal uh, and what kind of metals we can print we can print nickel we can print titanium we can build cobalt we can print aluminum and we can print stainless steel. So, <coughs> excuse me when you talk about 3d printing materials it can be either plastic or it can be metals now uh, as you see that in in plastic there are several options available same way in metal also there are several uh, options available the the 3d printer that uses plastic as a material is uh, cheaper compared to the one which prints the metal so, let us understand further when you talk about plastics right. So, you can see here objects printed using PLA material uh, beautiful boat. Uh, so, this is a PLA uh, is used for low cost non functional prototyping offers greater details than ABS, uh, uh, but it is more brittle. So, unsuitable for high temperature applications. So, uh, it is uh, uh, better than uh, ABS uh, for a certain reason how uh, about uh, uh, from in terms of detailing, but uh, is more brittle and also not useful for high temperature. While if you uh, understand ABS material then ABS has a good mechanical properties with excellent impact strength superior to PLA, but less defined details commonly used for enclosure prototypes. If you see this one it has a less defined details compared to this finishing product. The advantage here is that uh, in case of ABS we have a uh, higher mechanical uh, uh, you know properties uh, and thus the strength. Now, people also have started using the gears using nylon materials. So, used to substitute functional injection mold parts good chemical resistance advantage of nylon is it can be a good chemical resistance perfect for functional applications nylon or polyamide which is PA is a thermoplastic with excellent mechanical properties high chemical and abrasion resistance and thus uh, if you use nylon over for when when there are the uh, when you have to use this material further in any kind of chemical or uh, uh, you know uh, where there is a more mechanical uh, properties that you need to uh, study for example you are applying a lot of force or you are stretching the material then compared to abs and pla uh, nylon can work as an alternative material again you can understand this uh, the details uh, from the source that is given in this particular link. So, further if I go I see that uh, other materials are resin 
P E T G with, which stands for polyethylene uh, terephthalate glycol modified uh, and as well as we have TPU which is thermoplastic polyurethane. Uh, so, uh, the 3D printing resin object printed uh, using resin we, we, we see here right uh, and here the high detail and smooth surface uh, injection mold like prototyping. So, it is it is really good uh, because injection molding is where you can ex exactly get the uh, uh, working prototype uh, not only working prototype, but it looks like a product. Resins are thermostat uh, photopolymers that solidified uh, solidify when exposed to light producing high detail parts with smooth injection mold like surface finish. So, if you use resin you will have a better surface finish, but if you go for object printer uh, using PETG material what you see is that it has a good mechanical parts with high impact resistance and flexibility. Uh, uh, it can be sterilize, sterilizable and thus it can be used for there is a uh, robots that are used for operating a patient. Uh, PETG is a thermoplastic with improved properties over PLA with high impact resistance, excellent chemical and moisture resistance. Uh, also the, the, the biggest advantage of using PETG is that it can be sterilized thus it can be used uh, in the medical domain. If you move to TPU uh, then uh, rubber like material mostly suitable for tubes, grips, seals and gaskets. Uh, TPU is a thermoplastic elastomer with a low shore hardness and a rubber like feel that can be easily flexed and compressed. Thus you can see here um, uh, an image where you can press it and it, it is compressible and thus it can be more like for a gripper. For example, I will give you an example where you want to pick an object and if you make a hand using rubber right the, the, the way to pick an object becomes easier or you can say a gripper you can design with the help of TPU. Uh, so, if I go to the next one I still have some more materials to uh, show it to you. Uh, the first one is ASA which stands for acrylonitrile uh, styrene acrylate and this is uh, uh, UV stability and has a high chemical resistance in preferred material for outdoor applications you can write over see here. Uh, 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 so, this is one of the application ASA is thermoplastic with uh, property similar to ABS, but with improved thermal chemical and weather resistance perfect for outdoor applications. When you talk about PEI uh, which is poly uh, ether, etheramide. Uh, you can use uh, it as an engineering plastic high performance application. It can be used as a flame retardant. Uh, PEI is an engineering thermoplastic with good mechanical properties and exceptional heat, chemical and flame resistance. All right. So, if you want to use in, in certain application where uh, you your temperature is little bit higher or there is a lot of chemical reaction uh, then you can use this particular uh, uh, material called PEI. While the plastic filament with fillings uh, that uh, uh, is object printer using wood filled PLA metal filled PLA and here the above objects are printed using plastic filament with filling materials. The filling alters the properties of 3D printed objects and used for various applications. Uh, filling can be wood, can be metal uh, or can be carbon fiber. So, that is the uh, that is how the plastic filament can be used as a filling. Uh, Further, when we go for other materials, now this this all the above were all plastic, right? But if we talk about metals and 3D printing uh, materials using metals, then first one is uh, that comes uh, to our mind is stainless steel. And uh, uh, with stainless steel, we can uh, print a fork, knife, and spoon. Uh, high tensile strength, temperature, and corrosion resistance. Uh, you know that stainless steel is a metal alloy with high ductility, wear, and corrosion resistance that can be easily welded machined and polished. So, this is about steel where you talk about aluminum the uh, the advantage of aluminum generally is its lighter weight. So, high mechanical uh, liberty and ductility good strain to weight ratio aluminum is a metal with a good strain to weight ratio high thermal and electrical conductivity low density and natural weather resistance. So, that is a this is a 3D printed aluminum clamp while you talk about cobalt chrome then what you see here is that uh, a teeth crown 3D printed in cobalt chrome material is right shown in the schematic by super alloy used in extreme environments, aerospace and biomedical applications. Uh, uh, this material is used uh, 
uh, cobalt chrome also called as COCR is a metal super alloy with excellent strength and outstanding corrosion wear and temperature resistance. So, depending on the type of metal that you choose the application also changes. Finally, if we talk about titanium and nickel you, you are extremely familiar I am hoping that you are extremely familiar with titanium where you can make a uh, lot of uh, it can be used in lot of application including aerospace, automotive, medical industries excellent uh, strength to weight ratio is the advantage of titanium. Titanium is a metal with excellent strength to weight ratio lower thermal expansion higher corrosion resistance um, also it is sterilizable and it is a biocompatible material that is can be used as an implant. So, for the implant we can use titanium. If you go to the next one which is nickel alloy what you find is this is a 3D printed connected rod nickel alloys is used in extreme environments uh, the examples are aerospace applications nickel alloys uh, have excellent strength and fatigue resistance can be used permanently at temperatures above 600 degrees centigrade that is the advantage of nickel alloy. Thus these are the metals that are generally used for, uh, uh, for 3D printing right. Uh, but if I talk about uh, the uh, uh, techniques involved in fabrication of 3D components uh, then you will see that how 3D how different techniques can be used uh, for, for printing 3D uh, for, for printing different materials using 3D printer. So, we will talk about techniques in the next module for this module let us just end it right over here uh, that what are the uh, different materials that are used in 3D printing technology what exactly 3D printing is what is additive manufacturing what is subtractive manufacturing right. So, in the next module we will see the techniques for 3D printing till then you take care I will see you in next class.